case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for a consequential 1977 case state versus canola was decided by the supreme court of new jersey strictly defining the boundaries of felony murder convictions the case revolved around a tragic event where four criminals including the defendant attempted to rob a store the situation escalated when the shop owner retaliated and initiated a physical confrontation with one of the robbers. This led to an exchange of gunfire between the robbers and the shop owner, culminating in the death of both the shop owner and one of the robbers. Following this ordeal, the defendant was charged with felony murder for the death of his co-felon, arguing that the co-felon had been killed during the commission of the robbery. However, lower courts were divided on this matter. The majority of the appellate division sided with the trial court's decision to deny the motion to dismiss the charges, but a dissenting judge argued against this interpretation. Eventually, it was decided by the Supreme Court of New Jersey that the defendant could not be held criminally liable for his co-felon's death. The deciding factor was that the shop owner, who was not an agent of the defendant, was the one who caused the death during the attempted robbery. This fundamental determination significantly impacted the application of the felony murder charge in this case and potentially future ones. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.